Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, and we are on day 2,175 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, we will explore the wisdom of the ages from the book of Proverbs. We are diving into Proverbs chapter 3, verses 21 through 26 from the New Living Translation. This passage offers valuable insights into the rewards of embracing wisdom and trusting in the Lord. So let's embark on our quest of wisdom today. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 21 through 26. My child, don't lose sight of common sense and discernment. Hang on to them, for they will refresh your soul. They are like jewels on a necklace. They keep you safe on your way, and your feet will not stumble. You can go to bed without fear, and lie down and sleep soundly. You don't need to be afraid of sudden disaster or the destruction that comes upon the wicked, for the Lord is your security. He will keep your feet from being caught in a trap. As we delve into these verses, a clear message resonates with us. The value of wisdom, discernment, and trust in the Lord. The imaginary jewels on a necklace brings to mind that the idea that wisdom is not just practical knowledge, but a beautiful adornment that enriches our lives and safeguards our paths. In verse 23, it reassures us that with wisdom, we can lay our heads down at night without fear. It is a soothing promise of a peaceful rest that comes with a mind at ease. This is a potent reminder that when we live wisely and make sound decisions, we are less likely to encounter turmoil that disrupts our sleep. Friends, have you ever felt overwhelmed by the uncertainties of life? The next verse, 24, is like a comforting hug from above. It tells us that we need not fear the sudden disasters or the troubles that befall the wicked. When we trust in the Lord and walk in His wisdom, we're under His protection and care. Now in verse 25, it underscores a sense of security. Picture this, a life where we are free from the paralyzing grip of fear. It's like a shield that guards against anxiety. As we seek wisdom, it is though we are wrapping ourselves in a cocoon of God's loving assurance. And finally, in verse 26, is a beautiful note to end on. For the Lord is your security. These words are a rock-solid foundation on which we can build our lives. When we entrust our paths to the Lord, we can confidently navigate through life without being ensnared by the traps that might lie ahead. So how do we apply these timeless truths to our modern lives? Let's break it down. First, let's make it a priority to cultivate common sense and discernment. These qualities are more than just practical knowledge. They're more like treasures that guide us through life's twists and turns. Second, embrace the promise of a peaceful sleep. As we make wise choices and trust in God's guidance, we can rest assured that He watches over us even when we sleep. Third, banish fear from your heart. Trust in the Lord's protection and know that His wisdom equips us to handle whatever challenges come our way. And finally, Build your life on an unshakable foundation of God's security. When we rely on Him, we can confidently navigate the complexities of life without stumbling into traps. As we apply these verses to our lives, may we experience the true peace that comes from walking in wisdom and trusting the Lord. As we continue our journey through Proverbs, may we embrace the Lord's discipline, seek wisdom, and marvel at the wonders of His creation. Until next time, keep trekking wisely. Every step that we take on this trek brings us closer to a life filled with wisdom. Remember, as we journey toward wisdom, let us trust in the Lord wholeheartedly and live lives that honor Him and all that we do. Thank you for joining me for their wisdom trek today. If you found this podcast insightful, subscribe. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, But most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to... Keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.